let's have a look at some of the things that we can create with circles. So I'm going to bring in a circle, mesh circle. I'm going to leave the default of 32 vertices. Go into edit mode, press one to look from the front. One for vertex selection or vertex mode, just so I can see them better. RX 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. So there's my circle. I'm going to press E and S, pull in as much as I want to. I'm going to press B for border select and drag a box around these bottom vertices, X vertices. And now we have some kind of an arch. Let's select these bottom vertices there, E to extrude and pull them down. And we have an arched doorway. Let's just extrude it a little bit in the Y. And there we go. So we created an arch out of a circle. Now, if you wanted to have this as a hole in, in a wall, let's say, I'm going to bring in a plane, rotate X90, and I'm going to scale it a little bit. Let's pretend that this was the wall that you needed to create a doorway through. And I'll do it like that. In order to do this, I'm going to select an edge. I press 2 for edge selection, Shift Alt, and click this edge. Shift D to duplicate, pull it out. Let's separate it from this object by pressing P and choosing separate by selection. Go back into object mode, and this is now a separate object. Go into edit mode and press F. And I want to give this some thickness. Press E to extrude and pull back. I just want to be able to push through this plane so I can cut a hole with this. However, let's make sure everything is facing the right way. This is red, so it is not facing the right way. So select it in edit mode, alt and recalculate outside. Make sure that it's blue. Okay, so let's cut. Select your plane and search for Boolean. Leave it on difference and use the eyedropper to select your cutting tool, which in this case is this arch-like piece. You'll notice there's a yellow line. This means it worked. Let's apply that. We can now get rid of that. And we have our arch and we have our doorway and we are good to go. That could of course also be a window. So there's a couple things we can do with circles. Let's get rid of that and start again. Let's bring in our circle again. And I'll rotate X90 again. And this time let's box select or border select and get rid of those vertices. And now let's select that vertex and that one. E, S, X to scale in the X. Pull those out like that. So this is what you have. And this is a bit of a sharp corner here and we got a nice curve. So let's select these vertices and let's let's do a little bevel on those. To bevel vertices, you go Shift, Control, and B. You can see my screencast keys there. And you pull this out a little ways. And I'm going to, you can roll your mouse up. There's two points, three. I'm gonna have three. That gives it a nice smooth uh, curve. All right, let's give this a bit of depth or thickness or width, whatever you want to call it. So do something like that. I can scale in the Y to make it a bit wider if we want. And now we need to actually give it some, some thickness. So just before we do that, just have a look at the faces. Sometimes you get blue and red mixed together based on how we did this. So just select it and Alt and recalculate outside. We're going to add solidify. So search for the solidify modifier. Let's go back to, to this. And then decide which way you want to pull this thickness. This way goes out, but it may cross over like this. So instead, I'm going to actually pull it inwards. And you can turn on even thickness if you like. And I think that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it. This is what it looks like here. If you want, you can bevel the edges. I would. I would tend to select these in edge selection. I'm holding Shift and Alt. And then I would do a small bevel to make it look a little bit better. I would pull, I'd probably go for three edges and you can also do the ends if you want. Just like this, pull just a little bit, not until it crosses over. You have to watch for that. You can shade smooth. And now if I bring in a cylinder, let's see if you can guess what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to rotate X90, scale it down a bit, scale it in the Y. Do that, take this. Shift D to duplicate it, pull it down there, and you've got some connectors to hold a pipe on the wall. So there's just a couple of things that you can do with circles. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Blender Quick Tips.